If you have a vehicle that you notice the check engine light comes on only when it's raining, the chances are you have a cracked spark plug insulator, should be this right here, and what's happening is moisture is getting in through that crack and triggering your check engine light. Or you may have a cracked coil which is also causing the same check engine light. Now in this video I'm going to be changing the spark plugs and coils in this Ford Edge. Now this may not be your particular vehicle, but this is going to kind of show you uh, what you need to do to fix that problem. Maybe you can take it to a mechanic, uh, they're going to diagnose it and probably charge you in my area around four to five hundred dollars to do a diagnostic and change your plugs and coils. Now if you just notice that check engine light is coming on during the rain, I would skip the dealer and do this yourself. Probably save yourself about $300 and about 99% chance that that's the issue. So follow along, we'll get these coils and plugs changed, get this car back on the road. Now to remove the coil, we need to slide this red tab up. We're gonna push down right here and kind of wiggle and work our way up. I'm pushing down on that tab, just wiggling, pulling up at the same time. And now we can remove the coil with an eight millimeter socket. Now to remove the coil, I'm just gonna kind of wiggle and pull at the same time. And out it comes. And now we're gonna remove the coil. I'm just gonna wiggle and pull straight up. Just make sure you don't have a lot of leaves and debris around here so that something may fall in when you remove this. We'll just kind of wiggle, pull up at the same time, and out comes the coil. And if you look down in there, you'll be able to see the spark plug. We'll go ahead and remove that next. Now you're going to need a 5 8 spark plug socket. You should have a little rubber grommet on there to grip the spark plug. And you're going to need a long extension. Go ahead and turn it counterclockwise and as long as you're using that spark plug socket the spark plug should stay inside there as you lift it out just like that now before you reinstall new spark plugs put your new ones next to your old ones and make sure the thread depth is the same just make sure that maybe someone didn't send you the wrong plug or if you went to like advanced auto or auto zone, they didn't accidentally give you the wrong one. And now before installing any new spark plug, you're going to want to gap it with a gap gauge. Now the gap on this particular plug should be 52 thousandths, which I have it gapped exactly there. Once you have that done, we can go ahead and reinstall the spark plug. Now this is where you really want to use a spark plug socket with the rubber insert. So once you fit this inside there, the spark plug will not fall out. Now in general, a lot of people don't have a torque wrench. So you're going to tighten the spark plug about as tight as you can get it hand tight with just your extension. Go ahead and put your extension on. You'll, you should have good resistance right there and you're just going to go a quarter turn past hand tight. Now if you do have a torque wrench, every vehicle is pretty much different, but in general you're going to be at about 12 foot-pounds. To remove your extension and socket, if you just pull straight up, chances are your extension is going to pull right out. What I like to do, just wiggle it a little bit and pull straight up at the same time. And now we're going to go ahead and install the new coil. And if you get good coils, they're already going to be pre-lubed. So it's going to slide right on to your spark plug. Once you get it real close, get it lined up with your threads and push straight down. And now I like to install the bolt next. And I'll put the connector on last. We're going to go ahead and tighten this down. That's going to be the same way. You're going to get it hand tight and then go a quarter of a turn. 
You don't need to get this too tight. If you over tighten this, you are going to crack that housing. A little resistance, quarter turn. Now all we're going to do is reconnect the connector. We're simply going to push this on. You should hear it click into place. Push down the red locking tab. My personal preference is every time I change a plug and a coil, I'll go start the car and make sure there's nothing wrong. The last thing you want to do is put in all your plugs, all your coils, start the car, and it doesn't run right. You'll have no idea what's wrong, which cylinder, unless you have diagnostic tools. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car, make sure it runs right with this coil and plug, and if it does, we'll move on to the next one, and we'll do the same thing. So the car started and ran fine. We know there's nothing wrong with this one. We'll move on to the next one, get that one changed, and repeat the same process. I've got the next coil and plug in. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. All right, I've got all three of these done. This was the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, make sure there's no issues before moving on. So if you have a vehicle with your check engine light coming on only during the rain, that's pretty much going to solve your problem 99% of the time. Now no matter what vehicle, installing the, the coils and the plugs are going to be a little bit different, but this is just a general idea of how to do it. Hope you found this video helpful and informational. Hope it fixes your vehicle and thanks for watching.